to my YouTube channel. As you can see today, we're gonna to be talking about wine glasses. So I did purchase a set of red and white wine glasses from Crate and Barrel, and I'm gonna go ahead and we'll get into this review. So the process with Crate and Barrel with purchasing the wine glasses, it was easy purchasing them on site, but when it came to them shipping and me receiving the items, that was delayed. And you know everything is going on with COVID, so I was trying to be very patient, but after a while, I'm like, hey, I need to get my items. So I logged on to the website and they provided with a phone number that you can call or a number that you can text. So I text the lady and kind of just told her, if you refund me the items, I can go to the nearest location and I can purchase the wine glasses. She didn't let me know that since the items are being processed in the warehouse, they're on, they are unable to cancel the order, but I can return them once I receive them. So then I let her know, well, the delivery date keeps getting pushed back and back. I try to be patient at first, but at this point, it's kind of like, when are the items going to be shipped? She then proceeds to tell me the items are in stock and she'll go ahead and get those items to me um, two day uh, delivery. So the items did finally come in three day delivery. And I feel like if I didn't reach out to them, I would not have received my wine glasses in a decent amount of time. Um, I was wanting my wine glasses for that particular weekend, but I didn't receive them till after. But it's okay, I got them now and we can, I can go ahead and enjoy them. So the wine glasses did come in this box. Um, I ordered four of each set and the wine glasses were two paired by two and bubble wrap and then they were wrapped inside of this white paper. So when FedEx delivered my items, the guy kind of just dropped them outside um, on the driveway. And the driveway, of course, is concrete, so I was a little worried that they were gonna be cracked when I opened up the box, but their packaging with the wine glasses was A1, it was great. So through shipping and the delivery guy just dropping them, they did not break. They were still in good shape, so I do, give them an A plus when it comes to the packaging. So let's get into the wine glasses. So right here, I have the 32 ounce um, hip red wine glasses, and then I have the 14 ounce hip white wine glasses. So on the website, when you do go buy wine glasses or champagne glasses, they have the collection for each one. There's hip and then there's a few other um, brands and basically each brand has a glass for each thing so you can definitely go in there buy as many as you want individually you can have a set for you know champagne and wine you can have a, a set for any type of occasion that you're looking for the house right now I'm just starting with wine glasses because um, all my other ones have been broken and I was down to just one little wine glass that had a stem. I have the stemless ones, but I was only down to one that had a stem and I figured it was time to upgrade since we're in a new house. So uh, with the um, red wine glass, as you can tell, um, like I said, this is a 32 ounce and the white one is a 14 ounce. So the, wet, the uh, red wine glass typically tends to be bigger than the white wine glass. Now, um, I will say that these wine glasses are pretty sturdy because after taking them out of the box, I have um, hit the tip of the wine glasses on the, um, the sink when I was washing them out and you know the water was coming out, I hit it on the sink. And then I also hit them on the door to the cabinet because my husband was um, raising the shelves on the cabinet for me because they were um, taller than my previous wine glasses. So I need to make sure they fit. I also hit the glasses on that and there's no cracks, there's no chips. So the wine glasses are very sturdy. And I really, 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 really love these large red wine glasses because they have such a long stem. You see the width of the glass. And one thing about when you're sipping and enjoying wine is you don't all, you're not, you're really not supposed to feel 
the wine glass to the very tip. You're just supposed to, you know, put enough in there for you to sip and enjoy. You're supposed to drink wine very slowly. So for me, I would definitely give these wine glasses an A+. Plus. Um, the wine glasses were also very cheap. Let me grab my receipt here. So um, each one of these wine glasses were about $6 and some change each. Um, actually, this receipt does not have the pricing listed, but I'll definitely um, go ahead and put a link in the description box below so that you'll know what the pricing is for the glasses. I think it was $6 each for each individual glass. Not a set, like each individual glass was $6 and some change each. Um, they also have other brands. Um, these were the cheaper, cheaper ones on the site. They had a brand on there that were more circular. I like those a lot. And I think they were like $13 and some change each per glass. So I just, I'm starting out with these and then I'm gonna work my way up to get more wine glasses once we get a, a bar cart, um, bar cart into the house. So yes, yeah. so as you can also tell that I am sitting in my dining room of the house. Um, I love, 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 love what we have come up with so far when it comes to decorating the dining room. Um, so far we have this lovely marble table with these beautiful blue chairs and we have this lovely painting that my husband has hung up on the wall. He's very handy. I will say that. And then um, we have this um, curtain scarf over the window outside. Um, I'm going to put up some pictures or a video or something at the end of the video so that you guys can get a just a little glimpse into what I have gotten so far. I still need to get some, um, I'm probably going to do fake plants because I don't have time to keep up with real plants. So um, well, I, don't, I don't feel like I have the, the, um, the green thumb for that. So I'm going to find some really, really, really good um, faux plants to put into the living room corners just to give it some greenery and some more life into the area but I will say it has been very fun moving into a home making it your own space and decorating so that is something that I have enjoyed so what I am going to do now is I am going to go ahead and pour some wine into um, the wine glasses so that way we can just get a glimpse of what the wine glasses look like. Um, I remember when I went on YouTube to try to find videos of someone with these glasses, I couldn't find anything. So I wanted to make this video. So if you were looking at purchasing these glasses, you can see what they look like life size <laughs> and um, what it looks like when you have wine pulled into them. So let me um, go and grab the wine and I'll be right back so you can see what that looks like. All right, so one thing I want to pop out to you, this is some old wine and someone pushed the cork all the way in so I can't pull it out to pour the wine. But I do have this um, this rabbit wine opener by Wines is, um, that's W-I-N-E for wine and then Z-I-Z. -Z. And um, my husband actually gifted this to me. He got it off of Amazon. So basically you just open it, place it over the cork, you, this right here holds the bottle and tighten it. You push it in and then you just pull it on out. And it's literally just that simple. And to get the cork off, you just close it, clamp the cork, pull it out, and there you have your cork. So um, once again, this is called the Rabbit. You don't necessarily have to get this brand, but this is the brand that I have tried and it's been great. And um, now I don't care if I get a twisty top or a cork when it comes to the wine, I'm happy either way. All right, you guys, so I'm back here with the wine glasses that I purchased from Crate and Barrel. So um, I didn't have completely white wine, but this one was a little bit light, so I used that, and I didn't have that much red wine left. Um, I didn't make it to the store before recording the video, but just to, so you can see um, how it is. Now, of course, with you swirling the wine in a wine glass. The proper way to hold the wine glass is always hold it by the stem. And the reason that you hold it by the stem is that when you're holding it like this, your body temperature is warming up the wine. And the wine, of course, is supposed to be served cool. So you never, you're not supposed to 
hold it like this or put your hands on the glass itself you're always are supposed to hold it by the tip so if you ever see me holding it by the um by the stem uh, stem that's because that's the proper way to hold it and um i do this little weird thing with my pinky to where i rest it at the bottom and then you just swirl the wine when swirling the wine basically opens up the aromas in the wine so that it opens up the flavors and it makes the wine more flavorful um, another thing that I also like to use is a wine decanter. Um, I like to pour my wine into my wine decanter prior to me pouring it into my wine glass. Um, a wine decanter also opens up the aromas and the different flavors of the wine so that you can taste all the flavors and to get that wine very good. And you can also get a decanter off of the website with Crate and Barrel. The one that I have came from Amazon. In Crate and Barrel, um, like I stated, that each brand has their own things, like their whole set. They also have a wine decanter for like the hip wine glasses. Um, the one that I got from Amazon, um, my husband also gifted that one to me. It actually fits the shape of the hip, so it matches. So that works out pretty great. But when I do decide to get other wine glasses, I'll probably have to get like another decanter to go along with that. But yeah, you basically just swirl the wine to open up the aromas and I will say the swirling of the wine in this glass is like really good and for it to be a large glass it's not really that heavy either let's see yeah it really did open up the aromas in, in that wine. So, and the tip of the glass is not that thick. Like I felt like I was just able to go in and it's very easy to drink from as well. So definitely a great job with making of that wine glass. And we're gonna go into the white wine glass. Just swirl it a little bit. This one, it's a little bit, it's a smaller glass, so I probably should have poured a little less in here, but there we go. Also a great job when it comes to opening up the aromas of the wine. So, I will say all together that these glasses are really good and I'm very happy about this purchase. So if you were someone who was looking at buying these glasses, I personally would say go for it. Um, I'm a very picky person. I'm very um, hesitant when it comes to buying things. So I was very hesitant about going cheap and not going expensive this time around, but I'm very happy that I did. Um, so it, it's just... A great thing to be able to add different types of things to my collection so I'm very happy to get that expanded so make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so that you are alerted when another video is posted um, you guys I know that I'm here and there but I'm doing my best to stick with you and I appreciate everyone for being patient with me and sticking with me and just know that your girl Manny Boo is very 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 thankful and grateful for each and every one of you so far and to any new followers that are coming onto my channel I love you all so I'll see you next time you guys bye All right, you guys, and here's a little glimpse into the dining room area. I love the way it's coming out so far.